All eyes are on Athens tonight where misdemeanor warrants have been issued for a UGA football standout, Jalen Carter, in connection with the deadly January crash that killed his teammate and a recruiting staffer. New reports from police say Carter and the staffer Chandler LaCroix were allegedly racing each other moments before the crash. And LaCroix's blood alcohol level was more than twice the legal limit. We have team coverage tonight on the latest developments. Fox 5's Miles Garrett was in Indianapolis at the NFL Combine when Carter learned of the charges. But we begin tonight in Athens with our Christopher King, and he joins us now live outside the jail where Carter is expected to turn himself in. Christopher? That's right, Russ and Courtney. Jalen Carter is expected to turn himself in right here at the athens Clark County Jail, and police are now charging him with reckless driving and racing. Police say Carter and... <clears throat> Chandler LaCroix were racing the night of the crash. Fox 5 got 911 audio from that night. Listen closely to this 911 audio. A man calls out to someone named JC, then Jalen. That male voice on the audio appears to urge JC to leave the scene of the accident. And now on Wednesday, former UGA star Jalen Carter gets ready to turn himself in at the athens Clark County Jail. Police issued two warrants for Carter in connection with the crash that killed football player Devin Willick and recruiting staffer Chandler LaCroix and injured two others. LaCroix, just before 3 a.m., crashed a 2021 Ford Expedition the school's athletic association rented outside this Athens apartment complex. Chris Lamoureux lives here. This is just absolutely devastating. Investigators say alcohol impairment, racing, and reckless driving were factors on the night of January 15th. Police believe LaCroix and Carter were racing. Police reports indicate both vehicles switched lanes, drove in the center turn lane, and into oncoming lanes at high speeds. Police say the drivers were trying to, quote, outdistance each other. This just hours after the Bulldogs celebrated the football team's second consecutive national title. Fox 5 has gotten this surveillance video. It shows two cars at a red light in downtown Athens minutes before the crash. The vehicles match the descriptions of the two vehicles that were racing. The light turns green. A car takes off. Toxicology reports indicate LaCroix's blood alcohol level was .197. That's more than twice the legal limit. And police say LaCroix was driving more than 100 miles an hour right before the crash. Now, Carter tweeted out a statement. He says he intends to return to Athens to, quote, make certain the complete and accurate truth is presented. He believes he'll be, quote, fully exonerated of any wrongdoing. Live in Athens, Christopher King, Fox 5 News. Well, thank you for those sad circumstances. Christopher, thank you.